Very good morning to our respected directors, sir, deans, HODs, faculty members, and students present over here. I, Dr. Veena, from IIC Cell, IMT College, IMT Management College, will present over here today on Environmental Day, World Environmental Day 2023. The World Environmental Day 2023 is the largest global platform for the environmental public outreach. World Environmental Day has been celebrated by millions of people across the world since 1973. Its establishment was done by the UN in 1972 in a very important conference at Stockholm. The UN Education Programs is called for the better efforts to limit the wastage and the transition to a circular economy, as well as releasing a best beat plastic pollution practical guide and encouraging social media to post under the hashtag beat plastic pollution. More than 400 tons of plastic are produced annually, with less than 10% recycled and estimated 19 to 23 million tons ending up in bodies of water each year. Microplastics also pose a threat to the health, with each person consuming an estimated 50,000 plastic particles annually. With this, I would drag your attention towards the history of this World Environmental Day, the very important concept we must understand. The year 1972 saw a landmark conference organized by the United Nations in Stockholm which prioritized the environment as its central agenda. The event also acknowledged the fundamental right of the human to live in the healthy environment. The historic conference paved the way to global effort to safeguard and preserve the natural world resulting in the establishment of UN Environment Program. Additionally, it marked the official declaration on June 50th as the Universal Day for the environmental awareness. Since its inception, the UNI has dedicated itself to numerous global initiatives aimed for the safeguarding of the Earth resources. The inaugural World Environment Day theme, only one Earth, took place in 1973. Since then, the occasion has addressed a variety of themes such as Only One Future of Our Children in 1979, A Tree for Peace in 1986, for life and not save our life, 1988, connect with the world, web of life in 2001, and so on. Today, the 50th anniversary of the World Environment Day 2023 is hosted by Côte d'Ivoire and supported by the Netherlands. But the team will focus on solution to the plastic pollution under the campaign. It is reminded to the people that their action matters when they have to preserve our earth and they have to control their actions. The steps of the government and the businessmen are the consequences of this action. The INC, the Intergovernmental Neg Negotiation Committee, to be posed to prepare zero draft of international environment on the plastic pollution in Paris negotiation end. To move further, we must know how Intergovernmental Negotiating Committee was established. It is established in the Environmental Committee, sorry, it is established in the Environmental Assembly resolution requested by the Executive Director of UN Environment Program to convene an Intergovernmental Negotiation Committee to begin its work during the second half of 2022. With the ambition of completing the work by the end of 2024, the INC is tasked with development an internationally legally binding instrument on plastic pollution, including in the marine environment, henceforth referred to as the instrument which could include both binding and voluntary approach based on a comprehensive approach that addresses the full life cycle of the plastic. The second session of this INC committee to develop an internationally legally binding instrument on plastic pollution, including the marine environment, concluded in the French capital with a mandate for the INC chair with the support of the Secretariat 
to prepare a zero draft for the negotiations. In the next session, it is due to take place in Nairobi, Kenya in November. More than 1,700 participants in Paris, over 700 member state delegates from 169 member states and over 900 observer from NGOs attended the session hosted by France at the headquarters of UN Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization that we know as UNESCO in Paris. The second session follows INC1, which was held in Punta del Este, Uruguay in November 2022. I am encouraged by progress of INC2 and mandate to prepare a zero draft of internationally legally binding instrument on plastic pollution. The executive director of UN Environment Program said and urged members state to maintain is calling for an agreement that is broad, innovative, inclusive, and transparent. Once they lean on science and learn from stockholders, and one that ensures support for developing nation. Plastic has been the default option in design for too long. It is the time to redesign product to use less plastic, particularly unnecessary and problematic plastic to redesign product packaging and packaging and even shipping to use less one to redesign systems and product for reuse recyclability and to redesign the broader system of justice would be exactly established by the UN conference the director urged to the member states they must apply those course of action to the citizens those uh, to apply to the citizens those who are able to reduce the consumption of the plastic, they urge to the businessmen and to the normal resident of the countries to hold on the paper use and to use the biodegradable products which can be lead to a healthy environment. With this, I would lead this uh, discussion towards the significance of the World Environment Day celebration. That is, the main significance of World Environment Day 2023 is immense from raising awareness about environmental issues to initiating transformational changes. As our planet's natural resources continue to dwindle in, environment approach have become overly politicized and impact lagging plans have failed to mitigate the devastating effect of climate change. Pushing our planet towards and imitate ecological challenges and the collapse in such dire circumstances, World Environment Day 2023 stands as a powerful catalyst for environment activities, providing a platform to voice other concerns and their concern. I highlighted the negative impact of global warming for the global community. Losing lives, property, biodiversity is just functional and the fractional consequences of the environmental indifferences. For over 50 years, World Environment Day has been instrumental in taking or making common people conscious and the plight of our surrounding nature and impelling them in affirmative action. They must reduce the use of plastic at homes also. We have seen many a times in our supermarkets, they have switched over from the plastic to the paper bags. Even they sell them and donate that price to the NGOs who are leading this environmental their themes towards their organization mission and vision everyone is working towards to save the world to save the planet earth the mother earth is calling save me from this pollution and your pollutant actions we need to save our environment for these you know long lasting plastic we could not even imagine how long this plastic would take to merge in sand now I would like to drag your attention towards some slogans of World Environment Day 2023 that would really give you the insight what could be the one's, one's mission and vision nowadays. That is, restore our earth together for a sustainable future. That means we need to save our earth. If you want to sustain this healthy environment in your life, you need to restore the purity of the earth, the nature of the earth. You need to forego on the use of the plastic and you use this paper which, which could be made of the trees but they can be biodegradable. 
the second slogan which actually gives a means you know uh, situation act now save tomorrow this means one has to act today to save our tomorrow like when you nourish your child you teach them some ethical values why just to save his or her future to save her from the negative actions which could lead their life in a negative way so we need to act now to save the planet earth for this immense pollution green today clean tomorrow you must have seen whenever you visit delhi you must have seen over there clean and green delhi what does it mean you must have visited the college campuses nowadays there they have mentioned clean campus green campus what does it mean it means however you try you must keep your area your surroundings green that gives you oxygen and in the arena in the uh, you can say in the in the time of the corona pandemic we have seen people are dying for oxygen this would be the best example i can give you why we need the green green you know around us green today clean tomorrow i have explained it our planet our responsibility like we live in our home that is our responsibility to keep it clean otherwise no one like to come at your home likewise we live on the planet earth we need to keep it clean and green so that we can live happily and together over here the next slogan which is a very powerful plant a tree save a life this would be the best example we have gone through the pandemic we know the value of the oxygen today we must understand we must plant a tree and save life recycling the future is now since we are moving toward the circular economy which give us reuse redesign recycling these are the examples of circular economy which we are living now so it is the slogan the future is now future is no more a future if we can make our present we can make our tomorrow better if we can make our present we can make our future better we must think about the present future will be made automatically the next is reduce reuse recycle since right now i have said we are moving towards the circular economy and the slogan for the circular economy the main points which uh, which circular economy revolves around the three r's that is reuse reduce and recycle eco friendly is the way to be since i have given the example of your supermarket and some local vendors those who are using the biodegradable carry bags this is the best example for the slogan that is eco friendly is the way to be we must use the clothes we must use the items we must use the objects in our life which are biodegradable those who are shopping online they must understand the shopping centers the online sites are offering eco friendly wear wearable eco friendly wearable you must have gone through the site to prove my line one earth one chance let's save it we all know we got the life for once we are not going to live our life twice so we need to save this earth by living once and live our life at once thank you so very much i'm very thankful and privileged to have given this opportunity to speak upon from the iic cell from the IIT College of Management. Thank you so much. Good morning to all. Respected dignitaries, directors, sir, all deans, HODs, all faculty members, and my dear students. I am really feeling honored and privileged to conclude this session, which was a celebration of World Environment Day, which was led by Dr. Lena Sharma, ma'am. who has triggered so many insights starting from history of uh, world environmental day celebration and covering the global challenges the earth is facing and what is the mitigation plan what action plan we are looking into to save our mother earth so with this kind of insights and uh, discussions in the institution like imt college of management on behalf of iic cell I, Sushil Shukla, as Vice President of IIT Cell of IIT College of Management, is very thankful to Dr. Lena Sharma, ma'am, who has given a lot of insights and food for thought to all the audience here to feel accountable and responsible 
any day because who would not like to save a mother? In Indian context, our thought process is so broad that we address the earth as a mother. So motherly care is each and every citizen's responsibility to extend to our mother nature or to our mother earth. Because you, we all are fortunate enough that being part of universe which is having millions of galaxies and then our own galaxy that is Milky Way then out of that there is a solar system and in that solar system our earth is there which is the habitat center right still we are struggling to explore the possibility of habitation in other planets of the solar system so is it not our responsibility and accountability as a citizen or global citizen to save the mother earth to save the mother nature so this is i think food for thought to all of us to be sensitive enough so that we are really feeling proud in saving the mother earth and the mother nature thank you so much to all the support system to make this celebration wonderful and we will continue this uh, culture of celebrating these kind of uh, uh, sessions and discussions so that the sensitivity level of saving the mother earth is continued in, among all of us. Thank you so much. Mr.